Hello, Aaron from Beansprout here. I have a baritone ukulele to show you today. It was a fun project because this customer has a baritone uke that we built last year for him as well. And um, that one had very high contrast pistachio with um, big grafted sections. It was a very bold looking instrument. And uh, soft wood top with pistachio back and sides, it makes for a very bold sounding instrument as well. And for this one, he chose woods that were a little more earth tone, a little more muted. And so I really went for that. I doubled down on it for that kind of um, muted color palette, that kind of natural wabi-sabi look. And I really had a good time doing it. So uh, to begin with, the curly myrtle he picked for the back and sides is awesome. Looks like a keyhole to me. And it's a really nice book match. And then Port Orford Cedar, curly Port Orford Cedar for the top. And no binding. Makes for a very simple, sleek look that I really liked. He chose a dark green and swirly pistachio fretboard. And then he wanted the rope binding on it, which I really think is fun. Now we had extra an extra matching myrtle piece, so we used it for the head plate. We used it for the heel cap and the end graft. Usually I would offset all those decorative features with a black strip, a black line. Um, and for this, I chose uh, walnut to do that job. So there's walnut under here. There's walnut under the fretboard binding there. There's walnut surrounding the end graft and walnut under the heel cap. So it's harder to see. It's more blendy. It's more muted. And I love it. It's kind of got a rustic uh, look to it, almost a faded look to it. And I think it's really cool. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, and also um, I chose to darken all the brass hardware on this. So, and also darkened the pickup jack too. Just kind of going for that all around, you know, less shiny is good sometimes. So yeah, that's 581. I'm really pleased with it. It's a joy to play and hold and uh, I hope he likes it. Cheers.